Now let's see this example. Design DFA to accept set of all binary strings which are divisible by 4 or the language is given like this. L is equal to W such that W mod 4 equal to 0. We know what is a binary string. What is a binary number? It is a combination of zeros and ones. Okay. So let us represent the binary numbers from 0 to 7. Uh, let us use 4 to 1 notation or we can use any notation. Uh, let we have three columns, decimal number, binary number and what is the remainder that will be here. Okay. Let the decimal number is 0. Uh, now let us use 4 to 1 notation. Why? Because we are representing the numbers from 0 to 7. So for representing 7, we require minimum 3 bits. Whereas for representing 0, 1, 2, uh, 3, we will require uh, 2 bits only. Okay. So we can write 0 as single 0 or double 0 or triple 0. So what is the result of 0 mod 4? 0 mod 4 is 0 only. So we will get 0 as the result. Next let us take decimal number 1. We can represent as 0, 0, 1. Uh, so what is the result of 1 mod 4? 1 mod 4 means uh, 4, 4 zeros are 0. 1 minus 0 means 1. So remainder is 1. Let us take 2. 0, 1, 0. Remainder is 3. Let us take 3. How we can represent 3? 0, 1, 1. Remainder is 3. 4, 3. 4 zeros are 0. 3 minus 0 means 3. Okay. Next let us take 4. 1 double 0. What is the remainder? 0. Why? Because if you take 4, then 4 ones are 4. 4 minus 4 means 0. Next how we can represent 5? 1, 0, 1. Remainder is 1. Next 6 means double 1, 0. Uh, remainder is 2. 7 means all ones. Remainder is 3. So here the point is, if we divide any number, any binary number by 4, then the possible remainders are 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. So here we require totally 4 states. Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. Q0 for storing remainder 0 numbers. Q1 for uh, remainder 1 binary numbers. Q2 for remainder 2 binary numbers. So here let us use Q0 here. Q0 for remainder 0 binary numbers. Q1, Q2, Q3. So here also we have 0. So 0 means Q0. 1 means Q1. 2 means Q2. 3 means Q3. So we are using Q0 for storing, for accessing, for, for remainder 0 binary numbers. So what are remainder 0 binary numbers? 0, 4, 8, 12, likewise. Now let us write the language here. L is equal to, here we have to write the binary numbers. Okay. How we can represent 0 with the help of uh, a single 0 or double 0 or triple 0. It is our choice. Here I am using triple 0. Next, divisible by 4 means if we perform modulo 4, then the result should be 0. So what are the what are the numbers which are divisible by 4? All the factors are 4. So next one is 4. 1 double 0. Next one is 8. So for representing 8, we will require 4 bits. 8 for 2 1 notation. So 1 3 2 0. Next to 12. How we can represent 12? 1 1 0. Likewise, we can use, uh, uh, we can have n number of strings here. We can have n number of strings here. Now we need to construct the DFA. Uh, so how many states are required here? Here we require four states. So the first state is Q0. Q0 is the initial state. Q0 for remainder 0 by the numbers. Okay. With the help of Q0, we can access remainder 0 by the numbers. Okay. We can store. Okay. Uh, next one is Q1, remainder 1 by the numbers. Q2, remainder 2 by the numbers. Q3, remainder 3 by the numbers. Okay. Uh, next here, uh, here Q0 for remainder 0 by the numbers. So what are remainder 0 by the numbers? 0, 4, 8, 12. If we divide any, if we divide all the, all these numbers by 4, then the remainder is 0 only. Remainder 0 means Q0 only. So here this Q0 will be the initial state as well as final state. Okay. Let us observe one by one here. Here if we apply 0 on Q0, if we apply any, what is 0 here? 3 by 0. So if we apply any number of zeros on Q0, then we have to move to the state Q0 only. So we can write simply the self loop. We can write simply the self loop. Okay. Uh, for zeros, let us use top transitions. Whereas for ones, let us use bottom transitions. Why? Because we know what is DFA. DFA means all the symbols must be consumed by each and every state. So each and every state must use zero and one symbol. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, next one, let us focus on one. Let us focus on one. If we consider zero, so Q naught on zero means Q naught only. Q naught on zero means Q naught only. Q naught on zero means Q naught only. So if the number is double zero, then we will be at Q naught only, and it is the final state. Okay. Uh, next. Next one, zero zero one. Q naught on zero means Q naught only. Q naught on zero means Q naught only. Next here we have one. So Q naught on one means we have to go to the state Q one. Q one. So Q naught on one means Q one. Okay. Next, let us focus on second second decimal number. Zero one zero means we have to get the state Q two state Q two. So Q naught on zero means we will say Q naught only. Next Q naught on one means Q one. Next Q one on zero means Q two. Q one on zero means Q two. Okay. Q two. Next let us focus on three. Uh, Q naught on zero means Q naught only. Next Q naught on one means Q one. Whereas Q one on one means Q three. If we apply one on Q one, then we need, we need to move to the state Q three. So Q one on one means Q three. Q one on one means Q three. Okay. Next let us focus on four. Let us focus on four. Next Q naught on one means Q one. Next Q one on zero means Q two. Next Q two on zero means Q one. Q two on zero means Q naught. Okay. Uh, so let me check one more time. Uh, here, what is the number? One double zero. So Q naught on one means Q one. Q naught on one means Q Q one. Next Q one. Q one on zero means Q two. Q two. Next Q two on zero means Q naught. Q two on zero means what? Q naught. Q two on zero means Q naught. Okay. Next, let us focus on five. Q naught on one means Q one. Q one on zero means Q two. Next, Q two on one means Q one. Q two on one means Q one. Q two on one means Q one. Okay. Q one. Now let us focus on six. Q naught on one means Q one. Next, Q one on one. Q one on one. Q naught on one means Q one. Next, Q one on one means Q three. Q three. Next, Q three on zero means Q two. Q three on zero means Q two. Q three on zero means Q two. Okay. Next, let us focus on seven. So, Q naught on one means Q one. Next, Q one on one means Q three. Next, Q three on one means Q three only. So we have to apply the self transition. Now let's check whether it is DFA or NFA. So on Q naught, zero is used, one is used. On Q one, zero is used as well as one is used. On Q two also, zero is used. On Q two, zero is used, one is used. On Q three, on Q three, we have zero and one. So this is DFA only. Now let's check whether our DFA is correct or not. Uh, yeah, here we have some simple approach. So if we If you have any problem in order to understand this logic, then first you draw the transition table. The transition table is very very simple. From the transition table, construct the DFA. Okay. What are the input symbol zero? Okay. We can write like this. So what are the possible states here? Q naught, Q one. Next to Q two, Q three. Next to Q naught, Q one, Q two, Q three. Okay. Q naught, Q one. Next to Q two, Q three. Next to Q naught, Q one, Q two, Q three. So let's check whether our diagram is correct or not. Q naught on zero means Q naught. Yes. Yeah. If this is initial state as well as final state. Next to Q naught on one means Q one. Q naught on one means Q one. Next to Q one on zero means Q two. Q one on zero means Q two. Q one on one means Q three. Q one on one means Q three. Q three. Yeah. Next to Q two on zero means Q naught. Q two on zero means Q naught. Q two on zero means Q naught. Next to Q two on one means Q one. Q two on one means Q one. Next to Q three on zero means Q two. Next to Q three on one means Q three. Yeah, our DFA is correct only. Now let's check whether our DFA is correct or not by taking an input string. So let the input string is double one double zero. Double one double zero. What is double one double zero? Five. So five is divisible by four. Uh, so we need to get the final state. That is Q naught. Okay. So initially we will be at the initial state. Here, what is the initial state? Q naught is the initial state. Next to Q naught on one. Q naught on one means Q one. Next to Q one on one, Q one on one means Q one on one means Q three. Q one on one means Q three. Next, Q three on zero means Q two. 
Next, Q2 on 0 means Q0. So what is this Q0? This Q0 is nothing but our final step. So with this we can conclude that our DFA is correct only. It accepts all binary strings which are divisible by 4. So divisible by 4 means mod 4 is 0.